tears in Nigerian Air Force as bandits killed Air Force personnel in Gondwal in Kaduna. A group of armed bandits at Ongwa Laya near Benengwari has reportedly killed a Nigerian Air Force personnel after an ambush was foiled by the troops of the 271 Nigerian Air Force NAF on Saturday, February 13th. This was contained in a statement released by the Nigerian Air Force Director of Public Relations and Information, Ibukule Teramola in Abuja. According to the statement, some Nigerian Air Force personnel were killed during the operation, while a few others sustained varying degrees of injuries. Troops of the 271 Nigerian Air Force NAF Detachment today, 13 February 2021, foiled an ambush set up by a group of over 100 armed bandits at Ongwan Laya near Benengwari in Kaduna State. The statement reads The gallant troops were able to fight their way through the ambush, killing dozens of bandits in the process. Unfortunately, some Nigerian Air Force personnel paid the supreme price during the operation, while a few others sustained varying degrees of injuries. The injured personnel are currently receiving treatment at the Nigerian Air Force Hospital in Kaduna. The Chief of the Air Star, CAS, Air Vice Marshal Oladayo Amal, on behalf of all officers, are men, are women, and civilian staff of the Nigerian Air Force commiserates with the families of the fallen heroes and pray that the Almighty God grant their soul a peaceful repose. The CAS, who visited the injured personnel in the hospital this evening, has urged all Nigerian Air Force personnel to remain resolute and continue to work assiduously in synergy with sister services and other security agencies to rid the northwest of all criminal elements. These are photos of some of the Nigerian Air Force personnel who died in operation as shared by friends and colleagues on Facebook. Thank you for listening to this news. It's painful anyway. Very, 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 very painful to lose special souls like this. You see, my viewers, um, I used to tell people that uh, our our soldiers are people that we must not f forget. We must not forget. There are people that we must always put in mind, always remember in our prayers. There are people that we must not forget to um, to remember. You understand? Because these guys, they have they they, they are people that have placed their life for us. They have given themselves as a sacrifice for us by going at the forefront of the war battle to fight for your sake. While you are busy sleeping, waking up, going to work, going to school, you know, while you are busy cruising the town, attending parties, clubs, and all of that, these guys are at the war front fighting for your safety so that these hoodlums who call themselves bandits will not locate you. Have you seen that? So that is why um, we always remember them on a very special day called the Armed Forces Day. I used to remember back there in my secondary school when we used to be remembered, when we used to, to, be, to be asked to contribute this certain amount of money for the remembrance of these 
fallen soldiers. Then I used to remember that we used to contribute 40, 40 naira. Then, back then, in secondary, in primary school, just to remember these fallen soldiers. Then, I've, apart from the money, we we'll, we'll maintain a minute silence to respect those that have died in the course of the battle, just like these ones that have just um, died. Understand? So these are Nigerian soldiers. I don't want us to. That's why it's paining me so much that our youths are now challenging them. You understand? They, you know, it do. Um, it's not the fault of the youth anyway. It is their fault. The fault of the soldiers because there are so many of these soldiers, most especially those in recruits that came in through recruits. They are the one that is mis misusing the, uh, the 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 privilege given to them. The privilege of becoming a soldier. You know, they are the ones that never understood what it takes to be a soldier. They are the ones that don't understand um, the sacrifice of of being of being a soldier. That is why they can they can they can do uh, whatever they likes. You understand? But the ones that understand the privilege of being a soldier tries to to maintain it, to maintain it. You understand? So uh, at this very special day, people are encouraged to remember these soldiers. Okay, look at these very ones that have just lost their life. Not one, not two, not three, not four. More than 10 people. You understand? In the process of exchanging a gun shot with these bandits. You can, you can imagine. You can imagine. You need to go to the war front and see. Go to Sambisa. Go to Bono. Go to Kaduna. Go to these places and see what these 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 soldiers are going through you will cry but the ones that are injured the ones oh my god you will cry these soldiers have they have families like you they have families like you they have their wives and they have their children they left them behind just to go to that war front and fight for the country and fight for the country my dear i would like to personally i respect the soldiers because of the sacrifice so um my viewers i come i joined the, the people commiserating with these families you know to condole the families that have that gave birth to these um lost soldiers to please um uh, um accept accept uh our condolence and um and 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 the uh, and the uh tears no more for the lord that has given them this these very children we give them the heart to bear the loss. Okay? So please, um, my viewers, join me in commiserating with these families. Okay? Through comments and also raise your own comments concerning this issue. Alright? So if you're new on my channel, give it free to locate the red subscribe button and click on it so that you get updated each time I upload any new videos. Thank you.